Hi, uh, this is Zubair here, and I'll be doing a demo for JTalk. So let's start talking. What is JTalk? JTalk is a plugin that can be plugged into any Javelin application, which will allow users to chat with other logged in users. It allows message broadcasts, it also allows one to one group chats. So let's have a look at the demo of the application. Okay, so let's have a quick demo of JDoc. What I have here is I have three different browsers opened. Uh, JDoc is currently hard coded into Jack. So the three users here according the Brian Rich and Adam is RC. Uh, at the bottom right corner, you can see the JDoc window. So when I click on this, that's when I log in to the JDoc. So on this side, you can see who all are chirping. Um, Coding D. Chirp was a code name that we have used instead of talk. So, Coding D is the person here. He can start talking. As soon as he clicks enter, he can see his updates on the screen. Brian Rich also logs in. As you can see, who are chirping now shows Brian Rich and Coding D. Uh, Coding D also gets updates that Brian has logged in. Hi, Brian. And these two are now chatting. Mm. How you doing? All right, fine. And then on the third browser, we have Adam SRC joining in as well. And as you can see, everyone gets updates real time. And there's also a way that. Uh, say Adam can speak to Coding in a secret mode. So when I click on Coding, the name, they both enter into secret mode and their communications are not being shown to Brian. This shows that it's possible to actually have one-to-one -one communication as well. It's not just about broadcasting messages. Alright, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, we had real-time chat updates. But how can this happen? Um, HTTP is stateless, follows a request response pattern. Are you polling? No, the answer is no, we, don't, we are not polling. Then how? Well, this is how it works. So when we logged in, the browser sent a start connection request to the server, and then the server maintained a persistent connection with the browser. Uh, whenever the server had new messages that it had to broadcast, then it just broadcasted it to all the connected clients. Um, in short, what the server did did was it made calls to the client side JavaScript directly. That's pretty awesome. And the browser then has also has the ability to disconnect from the server at any time. So like for example if someone logs out from the JTalk client, he won't get any more updates. So how does this actually work? So what technology are we using? Well we use HTML5 WebSockets and SignalR. Uh, we'll come to SignalR a little bit later. Um, WebSocket is basically a web technology, pretty new, uh, that provides for bidirectional full duplex communications over the TCP connection. And uh, it basically makes possible more interaction between web browser and website. Uh, SignalR is a library that has been developed by David Fowler and Damien Edwards. Uh, what it does is it basically abstracts all the transportation headache and uh, it allows you to make these persistent client server connections over the best transport. By best transport, I mean that if your browser is new and supports HTML5, it will use HTML5 web sockets. If your browser is old, it will automatically use the long polling method. Which So basically, at the top level, you always get the same sort of behavior. Uh, some details about SignalR, it's not an official MS project yet, but hopefully it will be getting its sanction pretty soon. Uh, it's still under development and uh, it's not completely ready for production use. So what next? Well, as I said, Signal is still in development. Uh, the support for load balances is not yet available, although there are some alternative approaches using message brokers. That's a completely different topic. Uh, and uh, so once SignalR is ready for release and can be used, we can develop JTalk pretty much easily. Um, when it does get built, if it does get built, it should be designed as a plugin so that we can just add it to any Javelin app, uh, like a chat control and just configure the settings. And after that, the users won't stop talking. So, 
some other possible uses of signal are in a Javelin world um, for real-time progress. For example, if you have a process that takes a long time to complete, we can always give updates to the user to tell him what is the current status of the progress. For example, like big data file imports or some optimization processes that we may have. We can also work with real-time reports, Javelin notifications maybe. Like we have, There are some notifications that the client needs to give and it needs to be real-time. We can use SignalR for that. And then also for real-time server or system monitoring. Like uh, when our web servers are down, you know, it always keeps on updating. That will be real time. So that's all I had. This was our team. Thanks for listening. And if you do like it, please do vote for us. Thank you. Thanks for listening to JTalk. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please do vote for us. Thank you very much.